Hey guys, it's Cheddar again, and today I'm going to be teaching you about vehicles. Now, there are two basic ways to add vehicles. There's add static vehicle, and there is create vehicle. Now, um, add static vehicle is better in my opinion. Um, it's simpler too, so you got your model ID, which I will give a link to model IDs, XYZA, A, a being angle, color 1 and color 2. I will also give a link to the colors. <coughs> um, and then this one is respawn delay. So, uh, those are the two most basic ways. Now, there is a better way, in my opinion. Um, and it does re require a function. And I'm going to put it in and show it to you, so I'll be right back. Okay, so the function is load static vehicles from file. Now this is in the GL common uh, include. You need to move this into your pono slash include folder in order to use it. Or you can do the special way that you type out the in include. You type it different than this, but I don't remember how. So I'm just going to put the function in my game mode. And if you look here, there's a lot of variables. Okay, some stuff. You know, you maybe understand this, maybe don't. We probably don't. We really don't need to understand this at this point. Um, it's it's not important. So yeah, that's um, that's pretty much it. And. Uh, yeah, so if we compile this, it works. Now this, I believe, isn't working right now. Oh no, it is. Um, this basically sets the vehicle's license plate. I'm going to set this to T-E-S-T, -E and then it'll be the um, vehicle's ID. So if you need to, say, uh, set vehicle for health or something, you know, this is an easy way to find its ID. Anyway, but it's not the most reliable at all times, so anyway, on here we have to use load static vehicles from file, is it file or files? File. And then we use file name, file name. So, <coughs> I'll be right back and I'm going to add a bunch of these files. Okay, now in this function, we actually do have to include a few other functions, which are in this uh, GL common. But instead of doing that, I am actually going to just re completely remove it. And I'm going to have a look at this other thing to show you what to do. Okay, this GL common, you're just gonna, uh, you're gonna do that, and there you go. So it's dot dot slash include slash GL underscore common dot INC, and um, that's in quotations, and that's how you include that, so you can use this function. Now, I did put this variable total vehicles from files and it prints it out at, at the end of loading these that way I know how many vehicles I loaded from all these files now I could add another one of these and just change the file and if you look into here you'll see script files vehicles and you'll see all these files and if you open them you can see it's model ID XYZ A and color 1 color 2 and then there's a end thing so uh, if you want to add more cars, that's how you do it. So, I mean, that's the easiest way in my opinion. Of course, you can use add static vehicle. Now, I am just going to show this to you to prove that it works. So, if we do start... What? Oh, okay. I did something wrong, apparently. If we look into the server log, we will see that um 
something is not right. Um. Hmm. What on earth is wrong? Um. Oh, it's probably because of this. Um. This just sets the game mode text. Um. That might be it. Yep. There we go. So it says the game mode was initiated, and it says loaded however many vehicles from this file. And it says total vehicles from files is 1,781. And I believe that the maximum vehicles, number of vehicles anyway, is 2,000. Now, 173 of vehicle models, that means that's how many different kinds of vehicles there are. Alright, now, why did I X that up? I will connect to the server with fun dude and it says tutorial that's the uh this you can change this to make it this thing different i'll show you how to change this too those really aren't related topics but i'm just doing them now because it's easier <coughs> <coughs> oh, oh man give me a sec here <coughs> <coughs> Hope I don't blow blow a fuse again. I had the Xbox and the computer on like an idiot, and of course, you know, <clears throat> the uh, AC was on full blast because the heat index is like a hundred and it's burning hot. So you know, blew a fuse. All right. So first of all, I spawn at a random place. Now you see it's lagging pretty bad, but. If you minimap, see a couple little and if it's lagging, go and see dots, arvs. It'll lag even worse once I get in one. I'll prove that to you. Take the bike. <coughs> now if we look here, it says... Hmm, it's weird. Let me... Hmm, that's strange. I don't know why it's like that. Oh well. Hey, it works, right? Yeah, you see it's lagging. Yeah, I the license doesn't work, but... Yeah, it's lagging bad right now, so... But, uh... So you see there's a bunch of cars. And we loaded these vehicles from a... a bus. So, uh, That's pretty much the end of the tutorial, um... Anyway, thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, let me know. And I am going to show you one more thing, actually. Send Archon command. Set map name, I think it is. I hope that's right. Um... Why don't I test that, see if it works. Um, put... Nope. Maybe if I do set map without the name. I haven't <clears throat> used this in a while. Nope, that's not it. Maybe it's space name. Maybe it's just map name. I bet your money it is. Why do I keep Xing? Okay, um, give me a sec here. If I can figure out this thing, that'd be sweet. I think it is, I think it is map name, actually. Uh, yep, map name. Okay. So send archon command map name map whatever you want the name of the map to be. So I'm just going to do tutorial map. See if that works. And it does. So anyway, um, 
thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Right now. No, right now.